Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with my March Bath and Body Works empties for 2020. Um, I have a lot of product that I moved during March, so I don't have any chit chat. I'm just gonna jump right in and get started. Um, green is my favorite color, so every single March I kind of challenge myself to move um, at least most, but like hopefully all of my green products and really enjoy them in the month of March. So I'm gonna start with that first and then I'll get through the um, other kind of random products that I got through. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is my trio of rain kissed leaves. I have my fine fragrance mist, I have a lotion and also a shower gel. So the keynotes are lush green leaves, crisp watercress and delicate petals. So I know the notes change from time to time but this is the same rain kiss leaves that we've had for more than 10 years. I remember liking this toward the end of high school and I graduated in 2008, by the way, from high school. Um, so yeah, it's been around for quite a while. I feel like it kind of comes and goes, especially around like SAS time or whenever Bath and Body Works does promos for retired fragrances. So um, a couple SASs ago, I got kind of paranoid about this potentially being discontinued altogether and I stocked up. So I'm kind of still riding the wave of what I stocked up on. So I love it, I would repurchase it. So that's the trio that I used for the month. I also used up a couple of green soaps. I used up both of my Your Rexcellent uh, Gentle Foaming Hand Soaps and Coconut Lime Verbena. So I'm kind of, I'm sad that it's over, but I'm glad that Bath & Body Works had kind of like a moment last year with Coconut Lime Verbena, at least in soap form. Uh, the keynotes are zesty lime, lemon verbena, and coconut water. So I really like it. It is different than coconut lime breeze. I'm not a coconut lime breeze fan because to me it smells only like lime, whereas this definitely has more of a balance between coconut and lime. Hate the packaging, but I love the fragrance so much that I actually stocked up on it. If you are familiar with my SAS hauls, then you know that I kind of went crazy with these, but no regrets. I'm glad that I did. I used up two. And there's plenty more where that came from. The other green soap that I used up this month is my Rainforest Gardenia. I bought this at the SAS. This is last spring's packaging. Um, the keynotes are white gardenia, sweet apple water, and bamboo. And this is definitely not for everyone. But I love Bath & Body Works' gardenia fragrances, at least in soap and in home fragrance. I think whenever they push gardenia and body care, it smells a little bit different to me. Like it doesn't smell like this and I don't really care for it. Um, but yeah, I like it in the soap, I like it in home fragrance. So in these forms, I'll continue to purchase gardenia fragrances that Bath & Body Works puts out. I think more so than other florals, gardenia from Bath & Body Works is like a slap in the face. Like you have to love floral to get down with this. I love florals, but it is very intense. So if you only kind of like florals or definitely don't like florals, you know, I wouldn't touch this with a 10 foot pole. But if you do, this is right up your alley. So I have another one on backup. I'll probably use it up this summer. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this while it lasted. The next green items I used up were a couple of shower gels. I used up an apple blossom. I bought two of these at the Summer SAS last year. So this is just the second one that I'm using up. This one has notes of crisp green apple, dewy melon, golden amber, and sunshine musk. Back in 2017, which is when I feel like Bath & Body Works kind of made a move toward like skincare-esque items, this originally came out as like green apple and jasmine, or jasmine and green apple or something like that. It's the exact same fragrance. This is a repackage from a couple years ago. I like it, but I don't like it enough to really like hoard it and want to use it a ton. So I bought a couple shower gels in it. I was happy with that. I will repurchase in the future if I find this on another SAS, but I don't feel like I need to buy a ton of this. It is kind of similar to Beautiful Day, not a dupe, but if you like Beautiful Day, you would probably like this, but I don't think that you need both. The next one I used up is another shower gel and ice pear margarita. I think this is about the third one that my husband and I have used up this year. He likes this. He tends to go for like sugary, fruity scents. So while I use up things like rain kissed leaves, he tends to use up this kind of stuff, but I helped him use this up too. The keynotes are Fiesta Pear, Baja Limon, uh, Mango Flower, Mayan Sugar Cane, so just sugar, 
or sugar cane, I guess, um, and Mexican sandalwood. So I am really glad that Bath & Body Works brought this out for the past winter SAS. This um, originated in spring, well, I guess, in the Bath & Body Works world, it's summer, but really this came out in the springtime, if you follow the actual calendar, um, of 2016. Bath & Body Works released a really awesome and really like comprehensive kind of like Mexican kind of fiesta line and I really loved Ice Pear Margarita. So back in 2016 I was at a point where I was not in the moment with my Bath & Body Works stash and so I had a lotion of this but I didn't use it up until like way after it had been discontinued and I really loved it. So I was really kicking myself for that and so that's why I decided to stock up quite a bit when the fiesta collection came back. So. Yeah, I've got more of this, and if I see it at SAS again, then I will repurchase it. The next green item I used up is a travel size shower gel in Waikiki Beach Coconut. I picked this up well before the shutdown and all that kind of stuff. I picked this up before this came out in full size. I'm not really interested in a full size because Waikiki Beach Coconut is not my favorite. However, I like it like once a year in a small item. So I decided to just pick up a shower gel because I had a coupon um, and just kind of do that and get my Waikiki Beach Coconut fix. I would describe Waikiki Beach Coconut as a heavy floral coconut. It's not a coconut I would want to eat, um, but it does smell nice. So, um, you know, I'm okay with the fact that I only had one travel size item in this. I'm ready to move on, but I'm glad that I had it. I enjoyed it while it lasted. The last green item that I used up for the month of March is actually the first body wash that I used up. This is a moisturizing body wash in Desert Wildflower. The key notes are uh, wildflowers, jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. I think it smells like a really nice sweet floral. Um, I like it. However, I have decided that I really don't like the moisturizing body wash. I don't like it because it's not so bad on this one, but because this is foiled, this tends to flake off in the shower, especially as you use it. And I just was not interested in, you know, having to kind of like clean my shower after I took a shower. I, that was kind of annoying to me. Um, also, I felt like you know, while I bet a lot of people love the moisturizing body wash, I felt like I had to use a ton just to get kind of like a good, almost like lather, or I had to use a ton just to feel like I completely washed myself. So I don't know, like I'd rather use a shower gel. If I see a moisturizing body wash and a fragrance that I don't see in a shower gel and I'm just dying to have, like at an SAS, I can see myself picking up another one, but for the most part, I think I'm just gonna stick to shower gels. Speaking of shower gels, the first non-green item I used up is another travel size. This is in Pretty as a Peach. I had another coupon for a free item, a free item, so I decided to just pick this up because I was running out of shower gels that my husband could stand. Um, so yeah, I always love Pretty as a Peach. It's a great um, peach fragrance. Definitely has a little bit of a floral twinge, I think, but I actually really like it. It's nice and fresh, and I can enjoy it year-round. I definitely would repurchase this. The next item I used up, speaking of pretty as a peach, is I purchased a travel size ultra shade uh, body cream. So I have all these travel sizes not only because I had a free coupon, but also I got to a point with moisturizers where if you follow the Bath & Body Works Use It Up challenge I've been doing, I'm running out of moisturizers, especially because I'm washing my hands so much right now. My hands are dying for something and lotion just isn't really cutting it. So even though this was $7.50 and that makes me absolutely cringe by the way, I had a 20% off coupon from like I don't know, a long time ago. So I just bought it for $7.50, 20% off, used it with a free item, whatever. So like it was okay in terms of price. So I thought this did a good job of moisturizing my hands given the current situation. Um, Pretty as a peach is, like I said, always a good one. Love the packaging, so I would repurchase. So I don't know that I would repurchase this again for $7.50 per se. It was just kind of like a desperate time. Um, but yeah, I enjoy the fragrance. The next item that I used up, speaking of travel size, I went through a lot of like small stuff this month too, just trying to like kind of push through my challenge. 
is a mini fine fragrance mist and champagne apple and honey so I don't have notes on this but it just smells like what it is it's very nice sweet kind of like body care esque apple it is not the same as country apple I think it's actually better than country apple um, but yeah definitely kind of a fall time fragrance to me I think I tend to associate with this with the fall just because that's when it get mark that's when it gets marketed um, but yeah it was nice to use during spring but I think that I can stand to hold on to any more of this item until the fall the next item that I used up is a shower gel in black raspberry vanilla I purchased this at the SAS just kind of a one-off thing the keynotes are fresh raspberries, vine ripened blackberries, vanilla orchid, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere woods. So this is definitely more keynotes than uh, the fragrance used to have, but it's still the same fragrance that it has been for, again, more than a decade. I don't even remember when this came out, but I liked it in college, so more than 10 years ago. Um, it's a great fragrance. Actually, my husband likes this, so he actually asks me to buy this whenever I can find one online or at SAS or whatever. To him, it smells like black currant, which is a very common flavor of things in Australia, and it's like not so much here, so that's why he really loves this fragrance. So I buy it because I like to use it, but also it's a good one for him, again, to tide him over while I'm using a shower gel that he hates and can't deal with. Speaking of shower gels, I used up two more shower gels in the travel size. These are in one in a million. Purchased these toward the end of SAS for 75% off. Um, always a good fragrance, so not something I really want all the time, but it reminds me of Velvet Tuberose because it's so close to that fragrance. So yeah, I've got a few more of these and that's it. But if I find it again at SAS, I will repurchase it. The next item that I used up is one pocket back. So even though I've been using up lots of product in general, I've put the brakes on using pocket backs unless I'm out and about. So if I'm at home, I'm washing my hands because I'm trying to conserve my pocket backs. I don't, you know, collect my pocket backs in the same way that I collect other body care. So for that reason, I'm not going ham on pocket backs right now. This one is in rose water and ivy and I have had this for quite a while. I love rose water and ivy. I loved this in a pocket back and in fact I think this was my favorite form of anything I've had in rose water and ivy. I love it in a soap. I love it in a candle but this was just wonderful. I did not get an alcohol vibe from this. It was just a really fresh smooth fragrance. So I think that sometimes Bath and Body Works pocket backs because they're so like high in alcohol they tend to come off smelling like alcohol but this one was lovely i would totally repurchase even just five rose water and ivy pocket backs i'm getting toward the end but i'm not quite there yet i also used up two scrubs i used one in at the beach this is a sand and sea salt body scrub i also used up a foaming sugar scrub in warm vanilla sugar so um with the at the beach the keynotes are white frangipani blossoms, toasted coconut, bergamot waters, sea salt breeze, and sun-kissed musk. Now, I like this as a scrub. This definitely felt like sand, um, and I had to kind of clean out my shower um, after using this, but it was pretty easy, like it moved pretty easily. Um, but yeah, it felt like sand, so it felt coarse. I like my scrubs to be coarse, so this worked out really nicely for me. However, the only thing I didn't like about it is I don't know what's up with the sand scrubs, but I feel like they never smell like the fragrance they're supposed to smell like. So they don't smell bad. I'm not like bothered by it, I guess. But you know, it says at the beach, but I really did not get the at the beach fragrance from it. So I would ultimately repurchase it if I found it for 75% off like I did with this one and the other ones that I've had from SAS. But if you're looking for a sand scrub that smells like the fragrance, I don't know how much luck you're gonna have. So great product by itself, but did not smell like at the beach. However, the warm vanilla sugar foaming sugar scrub definitely did smell like warm vanilla sugar. I really enjoyed this one. Again, it's very 
uh, like thick and coarse. This one though was much more slippery than my sand scrub. So if you're gonna buy a sugar scrub, just be mindful of that. And in fact, it says on the back, caution may make surfaces slippery. I've had that experience with sugar scrubs in general from Bath and Body Works. And while um, I think they're fun and useful and enjoyable to have, yeah, just be mindful of that. So loved it, would repurchase, I've got one more. The last two items that I used up for the month of April, uh, sorry, getting ahead of myself, March, um, are two soaps from the White Barn Core Collection. I used up one in Cactus Blossom. Key notes are Cactus Flower Petals, Sunkissed Coconut, and Sparkling Lemon. Cactus Blossom generally is not my thing. Hold on. Yeah, not my thing, but I like it in a soap. So I don't really care for it in body care. I don't really care for it in home fragrance, but because I washed this off myself pretty quickly, I can get down with it in a soap form. So I have one more that I'll be using up later this summer. And yeah, I would repurchase, but not a ton. The last time that I used up in March is actually something I was saving for April, but I'm blowing through my stuff so quickly that it just kind of happened to be used up in March. So this is a Gentle Foaming Hands Up and Fresh Cut Lilacs. Keynotes are Lilac Bouquets, Dewy Greens, and Soft Spring Air. I'm really glad that Bath & Body Works has been coming out with these kind of like home fragrance fragrances and hand soaps. I'm really enjoying this moment from Bath and Body Works, really enjoying the simplicity of the White Barn, um, hello, English language, the uh, label, the label. Um, and I really enjoy the color, this really pretty lilac color with just a plain pump and this kind of gold wrap around sticker, I guess. I think it is a sticker, but yeah. Anyway, I really love this. It does smell like, um, the lilac candle if you buy that every single year like I do. So yeah, really enjoyed it, had fun with it. Um, I'm using up one more in my kitchen right now, so you'll find that in my April empties along with some other goodies. But yeah, that is my empties for March of 2020. Again, lots of product I moved through because God, I'm just sitting at home all the time now. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at yellowbrickexpat, same way it's spelled here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.